Warning, do not harass or witch hunt any of the individuals mentioned in this video. This is simply an informative video on what happened during the week. There is no need to cause any more harm. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Osu News. The show where we talk about the most important Osu news that happened during the week. This is episode 30 and in today's episode we're going to talk about a lot of interesting topics. So sit down, grab some popcorn and enjoy the show. On April 20th of 2023, the Twitter account known as Osu All Stars posted a teaser for what might look like Vaxay vs Malishevsky show match. And then 9 days later the rumors were confirmed. There is going to be a show match between Vaxi and Malishevsky on May 20th on the Osu All Stars Twitch channel where the winner is going to get as of me recording this $625. This prize pool is probably going to change within the next few days because people can donate for the prize pool so if you want to do so then be sure to check the link in the description. And yeah other than that there was some pretty major drama this week so it's time to explain it bit by bit. The story all starts when a Twitter user by the name of Vomit Throw tweeted this out. Quick reminder, if you're going to COE then you have the chance to meet this active staff member. And it looks to be that the staff member has been tweeting some pretty disturbing stuff about doing something to children. The tweets have been censored because I'm not allowed to show the whole thing here and they are pretty disturbing to read. One of the COE staff members known as Mayor posted a response in their Discord server in the general chat where they explained that these screenshots and tweets are made last year in the middle of a night. The staff member had severe mental health issues and trusted bad advice on how to vent and they decided to keep him as staff because kicking him won't fix the problem and they wanted to help him. Mayor also invalidated Vomit Throat's tweets because he quote unquote only tweets about drama. The majority of the community doesn't feel safe knowing this man will attend the event and they were very unhappy with how COE staff handles this situation. Rulu, another pretty popular player in the Osu community, tweeted his concerns about people defending this staff member, tweeting stuff about game ending children and was calling these people out. However, after all the backlash that the COE staff members have been getting because of this decision, they decided to kick codename Tim from the team and they want to apologize for all the drama that they caused. And because of this drama, the highest streak of days without drama in the Osu community has been broken. That is a total of 55 days. And I think that's the end of the negative news, let's move on to something more positive. A content creator in the Osu community by the name of Stu has recently hit 10,000 subscribers. Right after he hit the go, he revealed his 10k special, which is apparently split into three parts. The first part that was revealed is the reveal of his new profile picture, the official Osu News logo, and an official banner. These were made by Enhill and Frequence. And apparently for part two of this 10k special, he has planned something very big. And from very close sources, I've heard that this part is going to be revealed in mid-May, so be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that out. Anyways, we have another controversy related to a top 100 player in the Osu leaderboards. Solo Bold is a USA player who has been recently skyrocketing through the Osu rankings. He is known for setting some really good scores with Hidden DT, but he has been accusated on Osu Report and on Twitter for apparently using Aim Assist. People say that these screenshots and Snap Aim look pretty suspicious. Solo Bold made an official response to the accusations saying this. To anyone wondering about that weird snap in my dropout score, I have no real explanation for that since I have no idea what could have caused it other than that tablet bug. This has never happened in any of my other scores so I don't know what to say. If anyone finds something else that's suspicious, I'll do my best to explain what happened. And so far this story has pretty mixed responses. Some people are defending him saying that this is simply a tablet bug and that it could happen from time to time, while others are saying that he is blatantly cheating. As of me recording this, there is no official response from Osu support, so we'll see how this thing goes. Other important news that happened during the week, Vaxi recently got the booting, so we might see some really really good scores from him pretty soon. Sotarx is no longer a beatmap nominator and right after this post, he tweeted quit W, so this pretty much confirms that he is leaving the Osu community, see you next time. Saito recently changed his username to Saito, and because of his recent pop-up, Ninerik is now rank 6, surpassing Chikoni, Black Dog 5 and of course 9 Potato. Now let's move on to the scores of the week. We start off with a crazy run on Save Me with DT from Window Life. This is so far the best DT miscount on the map and if somehow this was an FC it would have been worth 1522 PP.
Next up is Ninlere getting a hidden night core FC on Inferno. This is the number one score on the map and it's worth 1072 pp. Practicon is next, getting an insane hard rock run on the sun, the moon, the star. He held 99 ag throughout the whole map, getting only 3 misses. And if this score was an FC, it would have been worth 1089 pp. Scytho this week had an insane pop off in which he got his new top play that is worth 1.1k pp, and it's a 98 ag FC with Nightcore on Ragen Limitation. Looks like those caffeine pills really help a lot. And the number one score for this week is Minerik's 1.5k choke on Valley of the Dam with Hidden Knight Core that he only got 2 misses on, but even with those misses this play is still worth 929 pp. Special thanks to YouTube members LonelyVeeb03, Pochi Warokia, Nopli, Danny Osu, and Simon I don't know. If you want to be shouted out at the end of the video, then be sure to become a YouTube member on my channel. Anyways, if you haven't watched it, then be sure to watch my latest video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.